this tutorial we will learn about spelling and grammar by default word automatically checks your document for spelling and grammar and indicates the error by colored line as you can see your red line and green line so a red line is indicates misspelled word and a green line indicates a grammar error when there is an error just right click on the red or green underlined and select the correct word from the suggestion list okay you may also choose to ignore the underlined word like here okay so this is an option you can just right click in the word which is misspelled or um, there is a grammar error and uh, you can choose like like this is a death d e it, it should be d e a t h but i misspelled it as d e t h so it so the red line indicates indicating that uh, i misspelled it and uh, it should not be d e t h and it is giving me some um, suggestion to make it correct like depth depths or depths so you can simply right click over here and uh, select any of these words like i'm going to click depth okay so you can see that the correct word appears in my document which is d e a t h now you can see that i have here a uh, green underlined so this is saying that here is a grammar error so simply right click here then you have two options you can choose tall was or tall was or tall where so i am going to use tall was so this is a correct grammar of uh, this sentence okay similarly i have a green line here so i am going to right click here and uh, going to choose has then this is a misspelled i misspelled this which word w i c h okay and uh, so let's make it correct mm, which and here you can see that i have a word which is manisha it's a, it's an indian name okay so actually this is spelled correctly but uh, our system doesn't know uh, that this is a correct spelling of manisha so what we are going to do we are going to ignore this error so simply right click here and click on ignore okay so this is how you can uh, work with spelling and grammar option or you can uh, you have another option to make these things correct uh, like uh, you can also wait to and the spelling and grammar check after completing the document okay then go to review tab and in the proofing group you will see spelling and grammar command here so just simply click here and it will suggest you the correct words of your misspelled or grammar error so this is the manisha manisha i think i think manisha is uh, uh, it's not misspelled so just ignore once and it's my next page blinking cursor should be here so it will 
please note that your blinking cursor should be here so it will start uh, checking your spelling from the uh, starting point if you will uh, place your blinking cursor here then it will start from the this line so let's check it the death that should be this or this or this so this i'm selecting this one and uh, click change okay in the grammar now the grammar here tall where and it should be tall was so change it then the which change click on change and yeah one more thing that if you have written w h c h means that if you have misspelled the same word two time or more than two time then you can simply choose the correct word and click on change all button by clicking on change all button the system will automatically correct your all misspelled word which is which okay so just let me show you that uh, here is a misspelled word of which and here is a misspelled word of which so look at this i'm clicking change all okay okay i think i have done some mistake okay so this is which which or go to here change all try one more time okay so change all as you can see that it automatically change all the which words just because I had checked uh, it was checking the grammar error so there was a problem to changing all the um, words i think okay so that's this is how you can use spell and grammar command As you can see that this there is a, a shortcut key f7 for checking spelling and grammars okay guys then thanks for watching this video